So we also told the diagrams below illustrate two different methods of separation of mixtures. So we have A and we have B. Let's name and explain the separation methods labeled A and B above. You don't need to write much as I always say. You always need to be very concise and make sure you are hitting the main points. So the first one here is simple distillation. And this method is used to separate two insoluble or immiscible liquids processes evaporation and then condensation the mixture is first heated resulting in vapor and the vapor passes through the condenser and the kinetic energy of the vapor is reduced so it becomes liquid and then it gets into the conical flask that you have here now what you have in a conical flask we call the distillate now the second one is filtration Filtration is used to separate insoluble solids and then a liquid. Now II, we are being asked to identify the label parts. So I is a benzene burner. That's what you have below the round bottom flask. II is a condenser. III is a beaker. IV is a filter paper. V is a funnel. Then VI is a volumetric flask state the use of the apparatus I, 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 and IV. So I, which is the benzene burner, is used to heat up the liquid mixture in the wood. Then I, I is the condenser, helps to change the vapor to liquid during distillation. And IV is used to separate the solid particles from the liquid in the beaker. And Ivan says, explain the role of heat in one of the separation methods. Now, the heat is definitely used during distillation. So during distillation, the mixture is first heated, resulting in vapor through a condenser. The condenser then cools the vapor in order to obtain the pure liquid, leaving behind a soluble solute. So without the heating process, this um, liquid that has a slightly lower temperature than the one it is being compared with wouldn't evaporate so the mixture wouldn't separate. So the diagram below are illustrations of an experimental setup. Study the diagrams carefully and answer the questions that follow. So you have on your right and the left. What you have on your right is the A and what you have on the left is the B. So the first question you are asked to Name the parts labeled I, 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 and I, I, I. Then the next one, you are asked to name the method of separation in each of the setups. That's A and B. Then the I, I, I is asking for the class of mixtures that the experimental setup A could be used for. Then the I, I give a reason for your answered state in I, I, I. So the answer you give, what is your reason? So, so the next one is name one possible component of the mixture in setup B. That's this. And then the VI says state the function of the part labeled IV. 